Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm with Amy and Ian and Kimberly. And so, what a pleasure it is for me to have them here today to help me to minister to the people. So, today we're going to minister to 10, and then tomorrow to 10 again. And uh, on Tuesday, actually, I already got three names on the list. So, we got, we're going to minister to probably to 20 people now, and then we'll come together again and minister to the next group. So, uh, I want to encourage you if you say, wow, but I also would like to receive prophetic ministry in this way. Just write your name in the comments and I would love to minister the word of the Lord to you. Uh, so now, tonight the first person I want to minister to is Dawn Stewart. All right? Dawn Stewart, I just, I just felt that the Lord is speaking to you about financial supply. And I, I just see how the Lord opens opens up the, the oxygen for that fire. To, to burn you know when you have a fire that wants to die um, and, and it doesn't have enough oxygen and it's smothering then it starts to smoke and I felt that that was a little bit a picture of what was happening to your finances but then I see how you know, the Lord opens up that hatch for the oxygen to come through and then suddenly the fire starts to burn with flames again and I just felt that the Lord says he's gonna bring a renewal a restoration a revival in that area of your life God bless you Dawn Amen. God, God loves you, Dawn. God bless you. This next word is for Brenda. Brenda, the Lord loves you so much. And the plans that God has for you is, is very big. I just saw a picture of um, a canvas and a painting. And God gives you this variety of beautiful, vibrant colors. And the Lord says that I'm giving you vision. And I just feel the Lord says it's not the way, it's not going to be the way how it was in the past. And I see how the Lord says, but for in order for you to do this, all these amazing dreams, this calling that I have, for you um i just feel how the lord says you need to come deeper into my presence and you need to love me uh, i just feel the lord says pour out your love to me as i give you all of mine and the more you love god i just feel the lord is also restoring and giving you so much self-love that when you look at yourself in the mirror you're gonna love yourself so much because god loves you and he speaks so much love over you because you're going to love yourself so much and when you do these courageous things god has called you to do i just feel the lord says you're going to be a light so i just really feel the Lord says he's calling you deeper into his love and the gift is you're going to receive a lot of love and you're going to love yourself so much so you can do what you need to do. God loves you. God bless you, Brenda. Hi, Jeanette. The Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I see a light bulb coming on and how the Lord gives you an idea. Now, don't neglect those ideas. Write them down. Put them on the shelf if you don't have the complete picture yet. But use your creativity. I just see how the Lord's going to expand your creativity. And all of those ideas is going to start to become a reality. But you need to work on it. I see you receive ideas, but you, oh, this is a good idea. And then it just goes and you, you forget about it. But I see how the Lord wants you to take hold of these ideas and use your creativity to advance your creativity. But also just to bring it to life, the ideas that the Lord has given you. So write it down. It's going to be a very interesting step and a transformation for you be blessed okay this next word is for malika the lord shows me how how there are there are these pathways that are being open to you but the lord shows me that only one way is the right way so even though there are so many opportunities in front of you the lord shows me how with prayer and with fasting and with engaging the word of the lord and and on what in his words that he is saying to you and, and counseling, uh, or counseling as in like other people to help you to hear what where is the Lord calling you, um, and and go that way. I hear the Lord saying that you have to reset your compass and then and follow my path. Be blessed. Okay, okay, awesome. God bless you. Okay, so next word is for Daniel. Uh, so Daniel, uh, the Lord throw, uh, shows me a, a governmental throne, uh, and how the Lord says I'm preparing you. And I'm equipping you and I'm putting my anointing on you and I'm giving you mentors in your life to train and equip you. And some of those people are very difficult and uh, you don't necessarily think, why am I here? Why am I going through this? But I just felt that the Lord says that He's placed you here because He's training and equipping you. And then He's going to open up the door for you to go and sit on that governmental throne so that you can... can um, uh, be an uh, uh, elder with authority in the body of Christ. God bless you, Daniel. 
And may God bless you, Daniel. God loves you. This next one is for Lydia. Lydia, I, I just feel that you're in a very big time of prayer right now. There's a lot of situations, a lot of things happening right now. And I just want to encourage you, um, have communion. Um, I, I've, uh, there's something so powerful about communion. And, and it's like we're receive, receiving, giving Jesus our brokenness um, and receiving Jesus' body um, and that breakthrough and getting covered in the blood of Jesus. I just feel, um, have communion, keep on praying. And I, and I just feel that like, just like that anointing of Paul and Silas, when they praise the Lord, not only that their chains break, but all the chains and, 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 and doors around them, all the other prison, prisoners were free and they weren't worshiping, but they were there. And, and I just feel the Lord says that when you worship me and you come into my presence and praise me and count it all as joy, not only your chains will be broken and you will be healed, but the people around you will have breakthrough as well. God loves you so much. And I really want to encourage you keep on pushing the breakthroughs coming god bless you okay the next one is for sharon sharon the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you okay the picture that i saw for you was the lord's giving you a sword now that sword is the prayers that you use especially for your children now i see there's controlling mindsets that want to take hold and in influence that is not good but the lord gives you that authority to cut it off and i just see how you say Yes, Lord, this is what I'm going to keep. This is what's not going to, uh, it's not going to be right for my children. And I see how you actually in uh, strengthening their good mindset, the positive mindset, so that they can become very, very strong willed personality in a good sense where they will be able to push through in dear, but also to have a wonderful, clear mind. Be blessed. And then the says word is for Umvon. The Lord shows me, he says, this backpack needs to be enough to feed the whole family. You need to have enough supplies that will supply to the whole family. I hear the Lord saying that you must be full if you want to pour into your children, into your business, even into your ministry, that you need to be full. I hear the Lord saying that, that sometimes you run like, or if you look at the gaslight, okay, we can go a little bit longer. The gaslight is on, which means I have this many kilometers to go and then I'll fill up. I'll hear the Lord saying that he doesn't want you to get to that point. He wants you to always be full in him and full and overflow into into your into the people that surround you. Be blessed. Hey, uh, morning Sharon. Uh, I really felt that the Lord is saying uh, even in 2024 I've broken a change off of your life that brought limitation on you. And so when you walk together in unity and you ask the Lord the Lord is going to make you, the two of you, very resourceful. All right? So I remember uh, the story in the Bible about the prodigal son and how resourceful that father was. He had a house, he had the, the, the place where, people could, uh, where his son could come back to him. Uh, he had the, the mantle and the ring and the sandals. He was ready at the calf that they can celebrate. And I just felt in the same way that the Lord is going to make both of you very resourceful. But the secret is that you two walk in unity together. The Lord loves you very, very much. Um, uh, Vaughn, uh, I, I just see how the Lord gives you wisdom for 2025. I felt uh, um, 2024 was a transitional year. 2025 is a year of breakthrough for you. All right. God bless you, Vaughn. All right. So the next person I'm going to minister to is Ruth. All right. Uh, so Ruth, what the Lord is showing to me is that in this next three months, the Lord is establishing a pathway for you. And you're going to walk on that pathway probably for at least five years. And so I felt the Lord is going to give you clarity of vision. It's going to put desire in your heart. And you, together with your mom and dad, can work out a path how you can get to that vision that God gives to you and I felt that the Lord is going to supernaturally provide finances for your education for your training and also put mentors in place so that every door will be open and be uh, accessible for you on the right time so that you can go through this process of the Lord launching you and so I see an airplane come onto the launching pad and now the Lord says now you're going to start to accelerate so that you can go up 
God bless you, Ruth. Amen. God bless you, Ruth. God loves you so much. This next word is for Thomas. Thomas, um, while praying for you, God should be a very interesting picture for you. So I saw how um, it was like one night you just got on your knees and you said to Jesus, Jesus, I want you to be a, the king of my life. I want you to, uh, you know that, that saying, Jesus, take the wheel. And I just see how you make that prayer. Jesus, take the wheel of my life. And then I see the next day you wake up and then you see Jesus with this very fine fast, very cool car. It looked blue. It looked fast. It was like, you know, like those Formula One drivers. And I just see how Jesus is like ready. And then he gets you in the car and Jesus is driving and you go fast, but you're safe because you're with Jesus. And I just feel the Lord says, the calling that I have for you is so exciting. I'm with you. Um, but at the same time, you're going to go fast, but the, Jesus says you're going to be safe. And I just feel the Lord says that it's going to be an adventure and it's because of your obedience, there's going to be so much victory. And then I saw a picture of how, um, you know, in movies when they're like that, that very fancy guy holds that briefcase, but it's like top secret and he has like even like a chain around it because it's, it's like so important and I just see how God gives you like this precious briefcase of your calling and I just feel the Lord says Thomas um, I'm with you and I'm going to I just feel that you're going to create something so amazing and I just feel God is already so proud of you already um, yeah God loves you so much Thomas you really have a big calling God bless you thank you family it was a great pleasure to minister to you uh, today uh, I want to encourage you, if you would like to receive a word in the future, just write your name in the comments. And I also want to encourage you, go and check out uh, our YouTube channel, uh, the Unity with Heaven YouTube channel, where I have some teachings. I'll put a pin comment in the first comment of this video, and then you can go and click there and just see uh, the teachings that I post. I love and appreciate each one for you. God bless you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.